How can the knowledge of yesterday be useful for me today? Life is a journey from the past to the future, and each day we have an opportunity to learn new stuff, and this knowledge that we can acquire day after day has a great ability to transform and translate us into who we want to be. We are special beings in the line of those who are called of God. We can see that life from God came to us in the form of a seed, or sperm, for human beings. This life that starts as a seed grows into a full, mature tree that can produce more seed in return. And the knowledge of this life that grows day after day is the understanding that we need to be able to reflect on as each new day comes upon us. There is no need to learn many things that we cannot use utilize in return. Surely we have all learned some stuff along the way, the nature of life means that people can learn both bad and good stuff. The process of life is made in a way that the people who think about both the past and the future have a chance to catch the reason of things in the present moment. The question that everyone should ask themselves is, how can the knowledge of yesterday be useful for me today? It is by asking such a question that we will able to offload some of the stuff we have learned along the way. Each day that passes by presents us with a tremendous amount of things we can learn. Now, the fight has already been to learn the good and positive and important stuff that could be useful for the day to come. This process of elimination happens daily. What we need to understand is that the time of life happens every day. Life is not kept in a box, and then one day and at a very special moment, then it will just appear. No, life happens in the simple form of a second, and those simple seconds, when put together, form a lifetime. Therefore, we need to be careful of each second that passes, because that is life. The knowledge of life then becomes a very important thing, but mind you, not everything we learn is useful. That is why a wise man wrote, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, Proverb 1-6. For if our minds have the ability to know lots of stuff, then how useful really are those things? Knowledge becomes ability, we can use knowledge to sustain us in the days to come. The great thing about the knowledge of God is that it has the capacity to sustain us, even when the plan is destroyed in a holy fire. People dynamically use the knowledge of cars, boats, trains, sciences, economics, and rocket transmission daily so they can accomplish any tasks involved in the appropriate fields. The continuity of the general knowledge of life should be a question that causes us to see past the merely simple life that pushes us daily to sleep and wake up and see into the perception of the supernatural, the supernatural is also a form of life that can be understood. The knowledge of the supernatural can be acquired daily if we keep on looking into the God who has called us into the wonders of his name. There is a secure confidence in the things we have learned in collaboration with God, knowing that this knowledge has already been tested. Therefore, we should be able to use it with confidence. Ask yourself, how can the knowledge of yesterday be useful for me tomorrow? The knowledge of yesterday in itself is a box of how things were made, how businesses were conducted, how people acted and reacted. This knowledge in itself is an amount of wealth that can't be measured, it is inside information of how things happen in the spiritual realm that cannot be perceived with human eyes. Therefore, paying attention to knowledge comes a process that should push us to trust the things we have learned in secret with God. For knowledge to be useful we need to use it, and to use it, we need to acquire wisdom. Wisdom is the force of operation that enables smart people to use the things they know to make profit at each exchange. As we know things already, now let us use this knowledge in confidence, and while we are at it, which will produce and enable us to grow in wisdom also. God, Time and Choices this is taken from the book, God, Time and Choices. Get the book on Amazon now. Link in the description. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video like this.